Okay, everyone, I'm back, so let's talk with this guy, um, Owain. Welcome to the Circle Stockroom of Magical Items. My name is Owain. How may I assist you? The Stockroom is not a shop. Your mentor should have clarified this. The Stockroom stores components used in magical and alchemical experiments. Do you require uh, something? Sorry. I voluntarily submitted to the right of tranquility. I was unwilling to undergo the harrowing. I find this state agreeable. <laughs> Tranquility has its merits. I see the world with clarity. I remember the days when my mind was filled with inconvenient and seething emotions. Now things are simple. My body is similar in form to yours, possessing an equal number of limbs, appendages and internal organs. I perform the same physical functions. My mind is capable of higher thought processes. Am I to be denied personhood because I do not feel as you do? I have thoughts and memories. I remember my past, my childhood in the tower, and my apprenticeship. These experiences defined me. My lack of emotion simply adds to what is already there. I do not have the capacity to be offended. Still, I believe I am a person. It is difficult to describe. I would perhaps compare it to being plunged into a pool of ice-cold water. Ugh, that would not be pleasant. I was ordered to never speak of it. I cannot go against the Circle's wishes. Very well. Goodbye. You're not going to keep the first enchanter waiting, are you? Ah, this is infuriating. Another batch destroyed. Say, have you seen Owain? Is he in the stockroom? Oh, excellent. He wasn't there last I looked. I hope he still has some cinnabar lying around. When I asked last week, he said he was running out. Malefkarum. You look well. That's wonderful. I was throwing up for a full week after my heroin. It's delirium that does that, I think. Delirium dust. Private documents. Colin. Greetings. I'm glad your harrowing went well. I am Colin. I was to strike the killing blow if you had uh, become an abomination. I am glad you didn't. It is my duty. Some Templars I know discuss such things with glee. I don't share their enthusiasm. I try to serve the Maker first and foremost. As long as I am guided by his commandments, I cannot go wrong. Honestly, I've never seen an abomination, or been called on to slay one. Gregor would have guided me. Something must happen. But what if it's not obvious? Could abominations be walking among us right now? This is still new to me. Maybe one day I'll be as dedicated and driven as Knight Commander Gregor. You must be busy. Perhaps we can talk another time. He makes me uneasy. More money. Mage staff. Or magic staff. Ah, there you are. 
You are to be moved out of the Apprentice's dormitory, and these are to be your new quarters. The Tranquil will move your belongings this afternoon. Go on, make yourself comfortable. Oh, excuse me, I didn't hear you come in. I'm sorry, I'm terribly busy right now. I have to prepare the room before the Grey Warden is done at his meeting with Irving. Grey Warden? They are an order of brave and noble warriors, sworn to give their lives to defeat the Darkspawn. You know, I almost became a Grey Warden once. There were several of us chosen, though the Grey Wardens only wanted one recruit. Uh, they only ever have one mage, you see. I think they thought I was the best candidate, but I was young and foolish, and I said I wasn't interested. They picked someone else instead, and that was that. I've regretted it ever since. Ah, oh, well, I should get back to my work. Hmm, interesting. That's not likely. Jonker would do something before it came to that. Of magic. Will they? I think someone's here to speak to you, Senior Torren. Hello. Were you looking for something? I'm Njal, a mage just like you. I've seen you around, haven't I? I must have. Oh, the fraternities. Groups of mages with a common agenda. <sighs> I think we should all be isolationists. Stay in some remote mountain town, far away from the Mundanes who hate us. I'd go hide alone in the wilds if I could. But you know they just brand me an apostate and hunt me down. There is no leaving the circle. It's till death do us part. Romantic, isn't it? Yes, it is. If you leave the circle, you become an apostate. And the punishment for leaving is death. Pretty grim, huh? I've heard of hedge witches who've managed to survive on their own, eluding the circle for a lifetime. But if the Templars discover them, well, you know what happens. Then there are stories about the Dalish elf clans having great magic. But who knows what's truth and what's fiction when it comes to the Dalish? All right, have a good day. Hello. Congratulations on your harrowing last night. Good work. Ah, oh, the Fraternities of the Enchanters. You probably haven't heard of them. It's best not to get tangled up in circle politics. More trouble than it's worth, really. Mm. Uh, oh, they're found in all circles throughout Thedas. Groups of Enchanters who hold similar viewpoints, who band together to make their voices heard. The most influential fraternity are the Equitarians. They are moderates and believe in a code of conduct that all mages should adhere to. Then there are the Chantry apologists, the loyalists. The Chantry says something and they follow it to the letter. The Lucrosians just want to make money, and the isolationists would like us all to be hermits and live on an island. Then of course there are the Libertarians. They want more power for the Circle, more autonomy. Huh. Well, if I had to, I'd say I was an Equitarian, but I ducked out of the fray a long time ago. Most of the senior enchanters are Equitarians. Irving, Wynne, Sweeney. Ulred's a Libertarian, and a loud one at that. Ah, mages have enough opposition from the outside without tearing our circles apart with infighting. But what can you do? An idealist, I see. Well, if you're going to change the world, you should get started immediately. Lots of world to cover. Do you need something? If not, step back. You're in my light. Are you surprised? 
We are probably more attuned to magic than humans are. Or at least our ancestors must have been. With most of our history lost, I suppose I'll never really know. Maybe the Dalish elves would, but I've never met one. They live in the wilderness, traveling where they will. I've heard they keep the old beliefs alive. As do I. Perhaps one day I will have the chance to learn it. Are you from an alienage? I'm from a farm outside High Ever. My mother worked as the cook's assistant there. I'm glad I didn't grow up in one of those. Life was hard on the farm, but at least we were treated fairly well. I suppose it doesn't matter where we're from, does it? We're in the circle now. I am satisfied knowing the humans who look down upon me will fear me instead. But I should get back to my books. Good day. I don't believe we've met. Are you new to the circle? <laughs> I'm sorry. There are so many of you and I get confused. Not to mention these old eyes are starting to go. You're too kind. I'm old and about to fall apart. Nothing in the world can fix that. But I enjoy the library. These books, they're old friends of mine. And it's quiet. When you're my age, you'll appreciate the quiet. Anyway, uh, did you need something? I'm not good at talking. Too much chatter makes my head throb. Don't you have lessons to get to? Shoo! He's nice-ish. Right for Nomad. Down near the Chantry. Blessed art thou who exists in the sight of the Maker. Blessed are the penitents who seek his return. Blessed is the prophetess, purified by flame. May the chant reach the Maker's ears and tell him of our contrition. So let it be. Oh, I didn't see you there. I recite the Maker's blessings every day. It brings me peace in troubled times. No, no, not really. It's just... I, I don't want to bore you with this. It gives me hope that one day the Maker will hear us. That maybe I'll be forgiven and my curse will be lifted. Magic? What else? Magic causes such misery. It's dangerous and vile and wicked. The Chantry must protect the world from us. Being born with something so terrible must be a punishment. I wish I could be rid of it. That takes the magic from me? It does, doesn't it? Imagine. No fear of becoming an abomination. Not being reviled by common folk and chantry. I should go. My mentor only allows a few minutes each day for religious contemplation. Where I went, but she's weird, so I'm thinking that maybe tranquility might help her. I heard about your harrowing. Congratulations. Andraste must have smiled upon you. Maker. Chant of Light, the Blight.
Third floor is off limits till dinner time. First enchanter's orders. Many have already gone to Ostagar. Wynne, Aldred, and most of the senior mages. We've committed enough of our own to this war effort. Your own? <laughs> Since when have you felt such kinship with the mages, Gregor? Or are you afraid to let the mages out from under Chantry supervision, where they can actually use their maker-given powers? How dare you suggest? Gentlemen, please. Irving, someone is here to see you. Ah, if it isn't our new brother in the circle. Come, child. This is... Yes, this is he. Well, Irving, you're obviously busy. We will discuss this later. Of course. Well, then, uh, where was I? Oh, yes, this is Duncan of the Grey Wardens. You've heard about the war brewing to the south, I expect. Duncan is recruiting mages to join the King's army at Ostagar. The Darkspawn threat grows in the south. We need all the help we can get. They are twisted monsters that dwell underground where the sun's light cannot touch them. They have formed into a horde in the Kokari Wilds and threaten to invade north into the valley. I fear if we don't drive them back, we may see another blight. Duncan, you worry the poor lad with talk of blights and darkspawn. This is a happy day for him. We live in troubled times, my friend. We should seize moments of levity, especially in troubled times. The harrowing is behind you. Your phylactery was sent to Denerim. You are officially a mage within the circle of magi. I'm sorry, what is this phylactery? Blood is taken from all apprentices when they first come to the tower, and is preserved in special vials. So they can be hunted if they turn apostate? We have few choices. The gift of magic is looked upon with suspicion and fear. We must prove we are strong enough to handle our power responsibly. You have done this. I present you with your robes, your staff, and a ring bearing the circle's insignia. Wear them proudly, for you have earned them. It goes without saying that you shall not discuss the harrowing with those who have not undergone uh, the right. Oh, I kind of already broke now that rule. Then, take your time to rest. Or study in the library. The day is yours. I will return to my quarters. Would you be so kind as to escort Duncan back to his room, child? The guest quarters are on the east side of this floor, close to the library. Now, if you'll both excuse me, I have matters to discuss with Gregor. Oh, they changed. Blood magic. Perfect in school. Thank you for walking with me. I'm glad for the company. I'm sure Irving is very proud to have had you as a pupil. It is not my place to comment. Gregor serves the Chantry and the relationship between the Chantry and mages has always been strained. You've realized by now that the Chantry merely tolerates magic? They watch only because they feel they must. The Chantry believes that a mage should fear his power. It was the pride of mages, they say, that brought the Darkspawn upon us in the first place. Any mages who join the King's army can unleash their full power on the Darkspawn. In fact, I'm counting on it. Gregor may be afraid of what will happen. What if the mages decide they no longer want to be governed by the Chantry? 
I believe we must defeat the Darkspawn, one way or another. My opinions end there. A horde has formed within the Korkari wilds in the south. If they are not stopped, they will strike north into the valley. We Grey Wardens believe that an arch demon is leading the horde.